Scientists have breached the confines of a cave that lay sealed for millions of years, unearthing chilling revelations that cast a shadow over our understanding of the human race. Just when we believed our grasp on the mysteries of existence was secure, this discovery threatened to overturn everything we thought we knew. So join us as we explore 20 mysterious caves around the world and unveil how scientists opened a cave sealed for millions of years with terrifying knowledge about human race. Number 20. Altamira Cave Altamira Cave in Spain is a remarkable archaeological site that offers a fascinating glimpse into the lives of prehistoric humans. This cave, nestled in the northern part of Spain, holds ancient art dating back to the Upper Paleolithic period, around 36,000 years ago. The cave is renowned for its vivid and well-preserved paintings, which primarily feature animals like bison, horses, and deer. What makes these paintings extraordinary is the skill and detail with which they were created. The artists used natural pigments like red and black, deriving them from minerals and charcoal. The artists also utilized the cave's natural contours to enhance their drawings, creating a three-dimensional effect that brings the animals to life. The discovery of Altamira Cave in 1879 by a local hunter named Marcelino Sanz de Sautuola and his daughter Maria marked a turning point in our understanding of prehistoric art. Initially met with skepticism, the authenticity of the cave art was later acknowledged, transforming Altamira into a key site for the study of Paleolithic art and human development. The paintings in Altamira provide essential insights into the daily lives and cultural practices of ancient humans. Some theories suggest that these paintings may have had a ritualistic or spiritual significance, possibly tied to hunting rituals or beliefs about the natural world. The sophistication of the artwork challenges previous assumptions about the cognitive abilities of prehistoric humans, showcasing their artistic talent and symbolic thinking. Number 19. Lasco Cave. Located in the Dordogne region, this cave boasts a treasure trove of ancient cave paintings created by our ancestors around 17,000 years ago during the Upper Paleolithic period. The cave art at Lascaux is renowned for its vivid depictions of animals like horses, bulls, and deer. These paintings provide crucial insights into the daily lives, hunting practices, and spiritual beliefs of early humans. The artists used natural pigments like iron oxide and charcoal to create their masterpieces, utilizing the cave's surfaces as their canvas. One of the striking features of Lascaux is the accuracy and sophistication of the artwork. The painters skillfully used the contours of the cave walls to give a three-dimensional feel to their creations, showcasing a keen understanding of perspective. This suggests not only artistic talent, but also a cognitive leap in human development demonstrating the ability to conceptualize and represent the world in a symbolic way. Lascaux Cave further illuminates our ancestors' social and cultural practices. The presence of finger flutings and marks on the walls suggests that the cave was not merely an art studio, but also a communal space for rituals and gatherings. These findings hint at the emergence of shared rituals and communal activities, signifying a crucial aspect of early human social development. Despite its significance, Lascaux faced challenges in the form of environmental threats due to human presence. In 1963, the cave was closed to the public to preserve its delicate ecosystem. However, a replica, Lascaux II, was created nearby, allowing visitors to marvel at the ancient artwork while ensuring the preservation of the original cave. Number 18. Creswell Crags Creswell Crags, located in the United Kingdom, is a unique archaeological site that provides a window into the prehistoric past. Nestled on the border between Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire, this limestone gorge is renowned for its Ice Age rock shelters and the wealth of artifacts and evidence of human activity spanning thousands of years. One of the most intriguing aspects of Creswell Crags is the discovery of ancient cave art. Dating back to the Upper Paleolithic period, Approximately 13,000 to 15,000 years ago, the engravings and drawings found in the caves depict animals such as horses, birds, and bison. Creswell Crags is home to the only known Ice Age rock art in the United Kingdom. The depiction of animals and symbols on the cave walls provides valuable insights into the daily lives, beliefs, 
and cultural practices of prehistoric communities. In addition to the cave art, archaeological excavations at Creswell Crags have unearthed a diverse range of artifacts, including tools, weapons, and personal items. These findings reveal the adaptability and resourcefulness of the inhabitants, showcasing their ability to survive in a challenging Ice Age environment. The site's combination of cave art and archaeological discoveries makes it a treasure trove of information about the lives of our ancient ancestors in the Paleolithic era. Number 17. Chauvet Cave Chauvet Cave, located in the Ardèche region of France, is an archaeological site that provides a unique window into the prehistoric past. Discovered in 1994, this cave boasts some of the oldest and most exquisite examples of Paleolithic cave art, dating back around 36,000 years. One of the exceptional features of Chauvet Cave is its well-preserved artwork, which predominantly consists of paintings of animals. The depictions showcase a diverse array of creatures, including mammoths, rhinoceroses, horses, and lions. The artists skillfully used the natural contours of the cave walls to enhance their compositions, resulting in a stunning interplay of form and movement. The level of detail and artistic sophistication seen in Chauvet's art challenges previous assumptions about the cognitive abilities of early humans. The cave art at Chauvet is not limited to paintings. It also includes engravings and handprints. The artists utilized various techniques, such as finger fluting, to create complex and dynamic images. The presence of handprints suggests a personal connection between the artists and their creations, providing a glimpse into the lives and rituals of prehistoric people. Unlike other well-known cave art sites, Chauvet's artworks have remained largely untouched by human interference, preserving their original splendor. This preservation allows researchers to study the art in its natural state, contributing significantly to our understanding of the artistic, cultural, and possibly spiritual aspects of early human societies. Due to its exceptional cultural value, Chauvet Cave was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014. Number 16. Caves of Hans sur Lessa. Nestled in the Ardennes region, Belgium, these limestone caves have been shaped over millions of years by the Lessa River, creating a subterranean world rich in geological formations. The cave complex, known as the Grotte de Han, is renowned for its stunning stalactites and stalagmites that adorn the caverns. Visitors embark on an underground journey, exploring a labyrinth of chambers with names like the Salle d'Arme and the Salle du Dôme, each showcasing unique formations formed through the slow drip of mineral-laden water. Evidence suggests that the caves were inhabited by humans during the Paleolithic era, thousands of years ago. Archaeologists have discovered artifacts, including tools and animal bones, providing insights into the daily lives and activities of prehistoric people who sought shelter within these natural chambers. The discovery of bear skulls and other animal remains indicates that the caves were not only a refuge for early humans, but also served as a habitat for now extinct species such as the cave bear. Number 15. Kent's Cavern Kent's Cavern, nestled in the United Kingdom, is a captivating treasure trove of ancient secrets, offering a fascinating glimpse into the fabric of human development. This limestone haven, tucked away in Torquay, Devon, has a story that spans hundreds of thousands of years. First and foremost, Kent's Cavern has a star-studded cast of ancient inhabitants, including Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. The remnants found in this subterranean sanctuary take us on a journey through time, revealing stone tools, animal bones, and even exquisite jewelry crafted by our prehistoric relatives. One of the most exciting discoveries at Kent's Cavern is the evidence of human habitation during the Ice Age. The cave provided a cozy refuge for our ancestors, shielding them from the harsh weather outside. The archaeological marvels within showcase the resourcefulness of early humans as they adapted to their surroundings. Moreover, the cave unveiled a unique find, a jawbone of a young Ice Age woman known as Kent Cavern IV. This remarkable relic has become a time capsule, allowing scientists to peer into the life of this ancient human. Through the study of her remains, researchers have gained insights into the diet, health, and lifestyle of prehistoric individuals. Kent's Cavern also holds the honor of being one of the earliest recognized sites for Paleolithic cave art in Britain. 
While not as elaborate as the famed Lascaux cave paintings, engraved lines and shapes on the cave walls hint at the artistic inclinations of our ancestors. Number 14. Caves of Aegea. The caves of Aegea Parascavi, situated in Greece, stand as silent witnesses to the richness of human history, offering a captivating journey into the depths of prehistoric life. Nestled near the village of Almirida on the island of Crete, these caves have become a treasure trove of archaeological wonders, shedding light on the ancient footsteps that once echoed within. One of the most intriguing aspects of the caves of Agia Paraskevi is their association with the Neolithic period, approximately 600,000 to 300,000 BCE. Archaeological excavations within the caves have unveiled a plethora of artifacts, including pottery, tools, and even human remains, providing valuable insights into the daily lives of Neolithic communities. The inhabitants of these caves were skilled craftsmen, fashioning tools from stone and bone and creating pottery adorned with complex designs. These artifacts not only showcase the dexterity of our ancient counterparts, but also highlight the importance of the caves as communal spaces where daily activities, rituals, and perhaps even social gatherings take place. The strategic location of the caves near the sea suggests that the prehistoric dwellers had a keen understanding of their environment. The proximity to marine resources likely played a crucial role in sustaining their livelihoods, showcasing the resourcefulness of these early communities. Moreover, the caves of Agia Paraskevi have yielded evidence of burial practices, offering glimpses into the spiritual beliefs of the Neolithic inhabitants. Burial sites within the caves provide a poignant connection to the past, allowing archaeologists to unravel the cultural and religious dimensions of these ancient societies. Number 13. Fumane Cave, Italy. Dating back to the Paleolithic era, roughly 40,000 years ago, Fumane Cave bears witness to the resilient spirit of our ancestors. Stone tools like hand axes and blades echo the resourcefulness and ingenuity of these early inhabitants. These primitive tools, crafted from local materials, reveal an astonishing adaptability to the surrounding environment. The cave's walls, adorned with ancient artwork, provide a glimpse into the artistic flair of prehistoric humans. Vivid depictions of animals, handprints, and abstract symbols showcase a profound connection between early humans and their surroundings. Fumane Cave has also preserved remnants of daily life. Fire pits and hearths, scattered across the cave floor, underscore the importance of fire in providing warmth, protection, and a means of cooking. The discovery of animal bones and shells attests to their dietary habits, offering clues about the resources available to them. Archaeologists have carefully uncovered evidence of burial practices within Fumane Cave. The presence of intentionally placed human remains hints at a primitive form of ritualistic behavior or a belief in an afterlife showcasing a profound aspect of early human spirituality. Number 12. Gauff's Cave Nestled in the limestone cliffs of Cheddar Gorge, Gauff's Cave in the United Kingdom is a captivating archaeological treasure trove, offering a window into the lives of prehistoric humans. Dating back over 10,000 years, this cave has provided valuable insights into the Paleolithic and Mesolithic eras illuminating the resourcefulness and adaptability of our ancient ancestors. One of Gauff's cave's notable features is its association with Britain's oldest complete human skeleton, known as Cheddar Man. This remarkable discovery, dating back around 9,000 years, revealed insights into early human migration patterns and physical characteristics. Cheddar Man's DNA analysis suggested a connection to modern populations, highlighting the enduring legacy of our ancient predecessors. Evidence of early tool use and craftsmanship abounds within Gauff's cave. Stone tools, fashioned from flint and bone, showcase the ingenuity of Paleolithic inhabitants. These tools served various purposes, from hunting to crafting essential items, offering a glimpse into the daily lives of those who called the cave home. The cave's interior is adorned with stunning formations, providing a backdrop for the creative expressions of its ancient occupants. Archaeologists have unearthed engraved and decorated bone fragments, representing early forms of artistic expression and symbolic communication. 
These artifacts contribute to our understanding of the cultural and symbolic dimensions of prehistoric societies. Goff's cave also offers insights into ancient dietary practices. Excavations have revealed a diverse range of animal remains, including mammoth, reindeer, and horse, suggesting a varied and resourceful diet. The presence of hearths and evidence of food processing activities further underscore the importance of the cave as a communal hub for early human groups. Number 11. Magura Cave Located in northwestern Bulgaria, this limestone cave, carved by the forces of nature, has unveiled a treasure trove of archaeological wonders, shedding light on the lives of prehistoric communities that once sought shelter within its depths. Magura Cave boasts a remarkable gallery of prehistoric art, making it a unique archaeological site in Bulgaria. Dating back to the Upper Paleolithic period, approximately 10,000 to 8,000 years ago, the cave's walls are adorned with vibrant and intricate paintings. These ancient artworks depict scenes of hunting, dancing, and ritualistic practices, offering a captivating glimpse into the symbolic and cultural dimensions of early human societies. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence of human habitation within Magura Cave, including remnants of tools, pottery, and hearths. Stone tools crafted from local materials, such as flint and bone, reveal the resourcefulness and craftsmanship of the cave's ancient inhabitants. The presence of pottery suggests advancements in technology and daily life practices, offering valuable insights into the cultural evolution of the prehistoric communities that once called Magura Cave home. The cave's archaeological richness extends to its faunal remains, providing clues about the dietary habits of its ancient occupants. The bones of various animals, including deer, wild goats, and bears, speak to the resourcefulness and adaptability of prehistoric communities in utilizing the diverse flora and fauna available in the surrounding environment. Number 10. Mislia Cave Mislia Cave, nestled in Israel, is a remarkable archaeological site shedding light on the story of human development. Situated on Mount Carmel, this cave boasts a rich history dating back hundreds of thousands of years, making it a vital spot in the tale of our ancient ancestors. One of the most captivating aspects of Mislia Cave is its age. Scientists have uncovered evidence suggesting that humans inhabited this cave around 250,000 to 200,000 years ago during the Middle Paleolithic period. Imagine, Long before smartphones and towering buildings, our early relatives were making this cave their home. What makes Mislia Cave stand out is the discovery of a jawbone belonging to Homo sapiens, its own species. This finding challenges previous beliefs about the timeline of human migration from Africa. The jawbone, estimated to be around 177,000 to 194,000 years old, signifies that Homo sapiens might have ventured out of Africa much earlier than previously thought. Additionally, tools made from flint, a type of stone, were unearthed in Mislia Cave. These tools, crafted with precision and skill, reveal the resourcefulness of our ancient ancestors. They used these tools for various purposes, from hunting to preparing food, showcasing their ability to adapt and thrive in challenging environments. Number 9. Nahal Mayarit Caves These caves, a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in northern Israel, have yielded invaluable archaeological treasures, contributing significantly to our understanding of human evolution. Occupied by various hominin species over hundreds of thousands of years, Nahal Mayarat is divided into four main caves, Tabun, Jamal, Elwad, and Skul. These caves have revealed evidence of continuous human habitation from the Lower Paleolithic period to the Upper Paleolithic period, offering a unique glimpse into the evolving lifestyles of our ancestors. One of the remarkable features of Nahal Mayarat is the diverse range of tools and artifacts discovered. Stone tools, such as hand axes and blades, showcase the technological advancements of these ancient inhabitants. The transition from simple tools to more sophisticated implements over time reflects the cognitive and adaptive abilities of early humans. Taban Cave, one of the most extensively excavated sites, has unveiled a wealth of information about Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. The discovery of Homo sapiens fossils dating back around 120,000 years challenges previous notions about the coexistence and potential interactions between different hominin species in the region. 
Additionally, evidence of hearths and communal spaces in the caves suggests a social aspect to human life during these ancient times. The inhabitants of Nahal Me'arot engaged in communal activities, demonstrating a capacity for cooperation and shared living spaces. Number 8. Pinnacle Point Caves Pinnacle Point Caves, nestled along the coast of South Africa, are treasure troves of ancient secrets that offer a fascinating glimpse into human development. These caves, dating back to around 164,000 years ago, showcase vital evidence of early human activities. One of the standout features is the discovery of shellfish remains and remnants of ancient meals. Archaeologists found mussel shells, indicating that our early ancestors at Pinnacle Point were not only skilled hunters, but also savvy gatherers, adding seafood to their diet. This diverse diet suggests a resourceful and adaptable approach to survival. Additionally, stone tools found in the caves reveal the advanced cognitive abilities of these early humans. The artifacts suggest a sophisticated tool-making technology, demonstrating the innovative ways our ancestors adapted to their environment. These tools were likely used for various tasks, from hunting to crafting, showcasing the resourcefulness of these ancient communities. The caves also tell tales of social interaction. Scientists have uncovered evidence of communal activities, suggesting that Pinnacle Point was a hub for social gatherings. This communal behavior is crucial in understanding the development of human societies and the formation of early social bonds. Moreover, the site provides valuable insights into the mastery of fire. Evidence of controlled fire has been discovered, highlighting the pivotal moment when our ancestors harnessed this element for various purposes, including cooking and protection from predators. This mastery of fire not only improved their survival skills, but also marked a significant step in human technological advancement. Number 7. Shanidar Cave Dating back tens of thousands of years, Shanidar Cave has revealed fascinating aspects of human existence during the Middle Paleolithic period. One of the standout discoveries at Shanidar Cave is the Neanderthal remains found within its depths. In the 1950s and 1960s, archaeologists uncovered the skeletal remains of several individuals, referred to as the Shanidar Neanderthals. The most famous among them is Shanidar I, an elderly Neanderthal male. The burial site raised intriguing questions about Neanderthal behavior and compassion, as the presence of pollen suggested that flowers were deliberately placed with the deceased, possibly as part of a symbolic or ritualistic burial practice. This finding challenged earlier views of Neanderthals as merely brutish, and added a layer of complexity to our understanding of their cultural and social behaviors. The cave also yielded a wealth of stone tools, emphasizing the advanced tool-making skills of the inhabitants. These artifacts, including blades and points, showcase the Neanderthal's ability to adapt and thrive in their environment. The tools were likely used for various purposes, such as hunting and processing food. Additionally, Evidence of hearths and fire use has been found at Shanidar Cave. The ability to control fire was a significant technological advancement for early humans, providing warmth, protection, and a means of cooking food. The presence of hearths indicates a level of sophistication in the Neanderthal's lifestyle. Number 6. Taban Cave Taban Cave, situated on the slopes of Mount Carmel in Israel, is a key archaeological site that has significantly contributed to our understanding of early human history in the region. Dating back to the Lower and Middle Paleolithic periods, the cave has provided valuable insights into the lifestyles and behaviors of ancient human populations. One of the noteworthy aspects of Taban Cave is the evidence of long-term human occupation spanning different periods. Archaeological excavations have revealed layers of sediment representing various phases of human history, dating as far back as 500,000 years ago. This extended occupation provides a unique opportunity to study the changes and developments in human culture and technology over an extensive time frame. The cave has yielded a rich collection of stone tools, showcasing the technological advancements of its ancient inhabitants. These tools include hand axes, scrapers, and blades, offering clues about the daily activities and adaptive strategies of early humans. The diversity and sophistication of these tools reflect the resourcefulness and ingenuity of the prehistoric populations. 
Tabin Cave is also known for the discovery of hominin remains, including Neanderthal fossils and anatomically modern human remains. These findings contribute to the understanding of human evolution and migration patterns in the region. The coexistence of different hominin species at Tabin Cave raises questions about potential interactions and the dynamics between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. Evidence of hearths and the controlled use of fire has been uncovered at Tabin Cave. The ability to use and control fire was a pivotal development in human prehistory, providing warmth, protection, and the means to cook food. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Scientists opened a cave sealed for millions of years with terrifying knowledge about human race. You see, in 2009, explorers stumbled upon the awe-inspiring Sun Dung Cave in Vietnam, a hidden marvel that had remained sealed for millions of years. This remarkable discovery revealed an untouched world beneath the Earth's surface, sparking immense scientific interest. The cave, with its massive chambers and unique ecosystem, has been a treasure trove for researchers seeking to unravel the mysteries of our planet's geological history. As scientists delved into this ancient subterranean realm, the revelations extended beyond geological wonders. The cave's protected surroundings provide a view of an untouched ecosystem, suggesting that humans might not have predated this period. Let's know what you think in the comments below. Number 5. Tadrart Akakus. Tadrart Akakus located in Libya, is a fascinating place with a rich history linked to human development. This rocky plateau has sheltered evidence of prehistoric human activity for thousands of years. The rock art found in the area is like a time capsule, revealing the stories of our ancestors. One remarkable aspect of Tadrart Akakus is its collection of ancient cave paintings. These artworks, created by early humans, showcase their daily lives, animals, and communal activities. The vibrant colors and detailed depictions provide a unique glimpse into the thoughts and experiences of people who lived in the region long ago. The rock engravings found in Tadrart Akakus also tell tales of a time when humans relied on hunting and gathering for sustenance. Drawings of animals like giraffes, elephants, and cattle suggest a close relationship between these ancient communities and the diverse wildlife that once roamed the area. The scenes depicted in the engravings provide valuable insights into the lifestyle, beliefs, and interactions of prehistoric societies. Archaeological studies in Tadrart Akakus have uncovered evidence of ancient settlements, indicating that people not only created art, but also established communities in this rugged landscape. Tadrart Akakus has also yielded tools and artifacts, shedding light on the technological advancements of ancient societies. Number 4. Vindija Cave. Vindija Cave in Croatia is a remarkable site with a rich history related to human development. This cave, nestled in the Vindija Hills, has been a treasure trove for archaeologists. One of the most fascinating aspects of Vindija Cave is its role as a shelter for early humans. Archaeological excavations have uncovered evidence of human habitation dating back to the Paleolithic period, around 32,000 years ago. This makes Vindija Cave one of the key locations where our prehistoric relatives sought refuge and created their living spaces. Within the cave, researchers have discovered tools and artifacts that shed light on the resourcefulness of these ancient inhabitants. Stone tools, bone implements, and remnants of hearths tell a story of innovation and adaptation. The artifacts suggest that early humans at Vindija were skilled in crafting tools for various purposes, such as hunting and processing food. Another intriguing find in Vindija Cave is the presence of Neanderthal remains. Neanderthals, a distinct hominid species, inhabited the cave around 40,000 years ago. The discovery of Neanderthal bones, including those of infants and adults, has provided scientists with valuable clues about their lifestyle, social structure, and potential interactions with other human species. The cave's sediment layers act as a chronological record, allowing scientists to piece together a timeline of human activity. This timeline helps us understand how early humans adapted to environmental changes and developed cultural practices over time. Number 3. Villers Cave Dating back to the Upper Paleolithic era, approximately 25,000 years ago, the Villers Cave walls are adorned with intricate and well-preserved paintings. 
These ancient artworks are of various animals, including horses, bison, and mammoths. The precision and detail of these paintings offer a glimpse into the artistic capabilities and cultural practices of the people who once inhabited the region. Archaeological excavations in Villar's cave have also revealed evidence of human occupation during different periods. The site contains remnants of tools, hearths, and bones, shedding light on the daily activities and adaptability of prehistoric communities. The artifacts discovered here suggest a connection between human groups and the natural environment, emphasizing the importance of hunting and gathering for sustenance. Notably, Villar's cave has been inhabited by both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, making it a significant location for understanding the interactions and potential coexistence of these two human species. The cave's stratigraphy, or layering of sediment, allows scientists to reconstruct a timeline of human occupation and environmental changes over thousands of years. Number 2. Vogelherd Cave Vogelherd Cave is part of a broader archaeological complex in the Swabian Jura. This cave has played a crucial role in shaping our understanding of early human culture and artistic expression. One of the most notable aspects of Vogelherd Cave is its association with the Aurignacian culture, dating back 40,000 years ago. The site has yielded a remarkable collection of artifacts, including tools, bone implements, and personal ornaments, providing valuable insights into the daily activities and technological skills of early humans. One of the most remarkable discoveries in Vogelherd Cave is a series of figurines carved from mammoth ivory. These exquisite sculptures include representations of animals such as horses, mammoths, and birds, as well as humanoid figurines. The most famous of these is the Vogelherd Mammoth, a masterfully carved mammoth figurine that showcases the artistic sophistication of the Paleolithic inhabitants. These figurines are considered some of the oldest known examples of figurative art, highlighting the creativity and symbolic thinking of early humans. In addition to the artistic treasures, Vogelherd Cave has provided archaeological evidence of human habitation over several millennia. The site's stratigraphy has enabled scientists to reconstruct the changing patterns of occupation, shedding light on how prehistoric communities adapted to environmental shifts. The cave has also revealed evidence of a diverse range of tools, emphasizing the importance of hunting and resource exploitation for survival. The abundance of animal bones further indicates the significance of faunal resources in the diet and daily life of the cave's inhabitants. Number 1. Black Hole Cave Deep within the dark and hidden depths beneath the Yucatan Peninsula, in the submerged caves, a remarkable finding has come to light. This discovery sheds light on the murky history of early America. The remains of a teenage girl, named Naya by scientists, were unearthed in the Who Negro, or Black Hole Cave System. According to radiocarbon dating, Naya's existence dates back over 13,000 years, marking her as one of the oldest human skeletons ever found in the Americas. At the base of Hu Negro, the bones of this young girl reveal that she holds a significant place in the early human history of the Americas. Naya's discovery becomes a crucial puzzle piece, helping us comprehend the migration and settlement patterns of the first Americans. Interestingly, her skeletal remains challenge established beliefs about the people of the Americas. Examining her features, Scientists note a unique combination of traits that differ from those of modern Native American populations. Despite these differences, DNA analysis has affirmed Naya's genetic connection to present-day Native Americans. This revelation supports the theory suggesting that the initial inhabitants of the Americas embarked on a migratory journey from Siberia, traversing the Bering Land Bridge, and subsequently diversifying into the diverse populations observed today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.